Gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself, though. Do you want to get some rest? Don't worry. Your room's safe now. My room's safe. Does that mean I can do things? Do I have a menu now? If you wanna go ahead, nope. <laughs> Chilling on my bed. Kurijo Senpai said she'll be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for you. Hey, try not to overdo it at school tomorrow, okay? Everyone's so damn bossy. You have to go to bed early at least one more time before, right? Can I... Nope, still can't access... Ooh, I'm gonna be able to soon, though. I guarantee it. I can guarantee it. I'm handsome. You don't know bossy until you meet Morgana in five? Uh-oh. I gotta say, I think so far, the, the biggest surprise to me is actually the music. Like, I had heard that the, the, like, the s style of the game was, like, a, like, a thing. And hell yeah, it is. But I didn't know that the music was as good as it is. I should rest for today. All right, going into the April 18th, Saturday. Long time no see. What's up? Do you have a upset upset stomach or something? Yeah, for for that. Yeah. Anyways, I got something to tell you. What happened? I was in a coma, dude. But go ahead. Actually. Ah, wait. I'm not supposed to spill. Sorry, man. Forget you heard anything. Ah. <laughs> Someone's full of energy today. I could hear you from all the way over there. Huh? You two didn't come to school together, even though you're in the same dorm. Oh, I've heard enough about that. Everyone thinks we're doing it. Anyway, Missledyne Coon, are you feeling better? Missledyne Coon sounds so weird. Like Missledyne. Sorry to hit you with this so soon after you've recovered, but the chairman wants to talk to you today. Head to the dorm after school and come up to the fourth floor. Don't forget, okay? What? Hold up. Why are you being called out by the chairman? What the heck did you do? It's not like that. It's nothing serious. Come on, we're gonna be late. We're just staying around here talking. Yeah, we got school to do. Can we call it a day? Oh my god, I love this guy. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for the Stone Age. I'm tired of these lessons about fossils. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not exciting enough until then. But it's what I'm paid to do, so here we are. It's not easy being an adult. That's true. Next is the Yom y Joman period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm. Missledine Kun. The places where people dumped their waste in the Joman period. What are they called nowadays? Oh, definitely not. I don't know that word, so that word. Mm, that's, that's right. Correct. They're called middens. Oh, the word is Scandinavian in origin. It means dunghill. Uh, that didn't work. Still not interested in this at all. <laughs> I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. I answered correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect. R E S P C T. It's weird that we get charm. Second. Second question. Uh, hey. Hey. Can we walk home together? It might start rumors. Will she get mad at me if I say that? Huh? Come on. There's no need to put on a brave face. You got your first question I saw right. How to get on the way home. I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Come on, let's go. We're going to get into another fight, aren't we? Home safe. Oh, never mind. Okay. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. 
Well, I guess I'll head up first. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. I'm just bopping to the music the whole time I'm playing this game. What's that thing shining on my bed? A twilight fragment. I haven't seen anything like this before. I should hold on to it for now. What's up, Benny Road? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm like, screw Final Fantasy 14 and Walker tomorrow. You know, I'm just gonna play this instead. Just kidding. I just told you to go to the fourth floor. I don't think I can, yeah, still no menu. Come on, don't give me the menu. Still no vending machine usage, huh? Yep, knew it. Oh, are these new voices? It's a little sprouts of hair, just I know, right? Ah, there you are. Feels like my head. Hey. Come on, they're waiting for you inside. Hello. Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. I've even there met the other some dude. things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Hey there. Okay. He, I Let like him, though. asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? I... Um... Excuse me? That's a reasonable reaction. Thank you. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. You mean the Street blood? lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Uh, between? It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. Who is that? You saw them. Those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour, and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Akihiko, Akihiko I like him. Why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's, for short. On oh, paper, that's why it's on her sword, uh, her gun. Club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. What's up, Ice Pirate Sakunyan? Hello, hello. Mitsuru Kirijo-kun is the leader and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Huh. This is a really interesting school club. I just did drama club. Teen you would have loved that. One extra hour to finish homework. See, I would love an extra hour just to play Persona 3 Reload. I'm not going to ask about no popo. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I I don't understand. Uh, no, I I get I I do. I'm glad you're quick to understand. Thank you. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. 
We'd like you to lend us your strength. Oh, that's what they call the guns. They're evokers. When I saw that they like, because all of the promotional stuff, I was like, they have guns to their head. What is going on? All right. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. I'm glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> hold up? Uh, but wasn't that... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I joined Seas to fight the shadows. I can hear a voice ringing inside my head. Uh, yeah. I mean, I hadn't. I didn't think that's what they did. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the fool art I. I am thou. Thou art I. Okay. I feel like you're making fun of me a little bit here, game. Seize the day. Ah. What is there? That's funny. I recall what Igor said about the power of social links. Well, that's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. Our club. Certain terms that have been displayed before can be seen in a dictionary. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? <laughs> you know, because it's the weekend. Yeah, no, I. Shall we end? Shall we end? Get it? I love that little cough right at the end of that. Hi, how have you been? Oh, son of a... This kid? Nope. <laughs> nope. How'd you get in here? I'm always by your side. Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end? <laughs> I don't care. It's the end of everything, but to be honest... I don't really know much about it. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. I feel like we're related. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay, then. See you later. Akasha. Hey, you in there? Yeah. Yep. That was it for the dark hour, huh? Looks like I slept till nighttime. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. Wait, we slept until Sunday evening? Okay, cool. Okay, he's here. So what's this about? Um We look good. Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Junpei! Junpei? Why are you here? I knew he was gonna I knew he like this guy. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. I'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? What's up, nerd? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I got it. Hi, Chrissy. Welcome yeah, I back. Into him the other night. He's a very he tired boy. I love it. But he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. 
Nice. Akihiko's got style. He's got grace. Also, I don't know if I welcome you to the stream, Mon, but welcome. Today's a Taco Bell day, y'all. I can feel it. I deserve it. I'm getting Taco Bell today. Taco Bell and Persona 3. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused, not remembering anything. Do you guys know that? Uh, that didn't happen to me. Hey, what's with the tough guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on too. How come he was told and we weren't? Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I wouldn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked too, right? Having me join? What? Uh, I guess. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Yeah. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we could start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? <laughs> I it's love that kid. holds the key to understanding the dark hour. Or so we think. And the key. I actually have a key. The chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. Finally got a chance to watch proctoring an exam for... Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. You ready to kick some ass? I'm so glad I was invited to join. Plus, the dorm is pretty cozy. But the best part is that we're the only ones who can see these shat... Uh, enemies. You seem pretty gung-ho, Junpei. That's right. Well, duh. Who wouldn't be stoked about fighting for justice? Though, to be perfectly honest, I ain't got a single clue what we're supposed to be doing. But I'm sure we'll find out. They did say that they'll explain everything. I love this kid. I will defend him until my dying days. Ooh, I'm tired. I was about to fall asleep. Can I have a minute? Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. I'm assuming that with the social links and stuff, you'll be able to choose like a date. Don't waste any time. Like a little, little date and sim stuff. She's not like us. She's busy, you know, with the student council or whatever. Whoa, Yucatan, do I sense some hostility? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... She's bossy? You know. Tells us what to do all the time? Kari's the best. Junpei's the bro. Love them. Okay. They're great. School day's finally over. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. Accident laid our train so much. It's already dark out. Uh oh. It's been happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Ah, uh, the ah, uh, the style is amazing. Everyone else is there already. You better hurry. Hey, it's 420. Blaze it. Wild, wild duck. Oh man. I'm getting kind of hungry. Dude, me too. It's small rocks. So many places to chow down. Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. Maybe next time. Yeah, yeah. I get, I get, I'm with him though, you know? All right, everyone's here. Heck yeah! 
Let's get right into Look at it. this, we have a party now. Kind of, maybe, possibly. Now, I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. I love how this is just like a uh, club so thing. They... I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Uh, I mean... It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Uh, I don't really get it. Well, you're saying if we I run love around it. Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the dark hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. From my understanding, because like obviously I don't know anything about the game really, uh, but I, I think like Tartarus is the. There's only like one dungeon in the game, and it's Tartarus. So you're just you just climb the tower during dark hours. Like that's the that's the dungeon. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. That I explains would go a lot. as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. I'm hoping it's better than Torgas, but hey. But the heroes of justice will prevail. It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. I love that we have like Junpei, who's who's like the I don't know, the Soka of the group, and then this guy who's like, I just want to fight, dude. I just want to fight. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa. Your nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. I also like anytime somebody says Senpai, I just it's been Senpai has just been like destroyed in my brain because of streamer culture stuff. <sighs> yeah, I know. Relax! Oh, Junpei's got your back. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. Coward. Not much point anyway, since I can't summon a persona. Hmm. Huh? We're here? Um, uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight. You'll hear it enough. It'll get fixed. Ooh, woo. Fixed it. Did that just, oh no, no. Oh, wait. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What 
are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? <laughs> you don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. That's so weird. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. <laughs> Poor guy. So this is Tartarus. In any case, we decide to enter the tower. Ah, I want... It needs to give me the option to save, and then I can... It said I have... There's like a rewind I can do. It's just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First... You need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? This is gonna be so cool. What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? Okay, so I it's mean, not you, Junpei. Me, 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 no. Pick me. No. Absolutely, no. You're in charge. Me? Yeah. Wait! Why him? He doesn't look like a captain! Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Wait, seriously? What do you mean, sort That's of? It too, but the main reason is far more simple. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can. Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. COG, I, I think I can go back and see it. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, Leo? But thank you. I'm ready. <laughs> That's the spirit. Sucks. It sucks that pausing a cutscene is a button. And then if you, like, I would just assume. What's the matter? That on pausing it would would do that would, or like hitting the same button would on pause, but no, it skipped it. Strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. Oh, we have the key. Okay, so we can go to the velvet room. I've been waiting for you. Oh, dude, the velvet room music is so good. What? The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. Who's this guy? He looks handsome. Oh, I'm Corey. Uh, Missile died online. Thanks, Frank. The nature of my power. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Next time, once again, May you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role. 
the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again, farewell. I want to know more about Elizabeth. Igor's cool, but... Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Wait, you can't see... Oh, you can't see the door? Huh? What door? Man, are you loco? High. Super high. They don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. We'll be following you. Come on, let's go. Leader. The entrance to the labyrinth is at the top of the stairs. Whenever you feel ready to start, lead the way. I can, I can open my menu now. Saving while exploring. You can save at locations where you can change your party. However, you cannot save on the floor you're currently exploring. You can save from the menu or by pressing that button. All right, so I want to see if we can... Oh my god, the it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful the way they I can see my persona. That's the only one we have. Wow. Any bonus costumes or DLC? Yep. There's a few. Boots. Okay, so that's the outfit. We got the Yasogami uniform. Can I see it or? Do I have to like exit out? I thought it said. I think that's when I'm like. Sujin uniform. No. It's not like a huge difference there. And then Phantom Suit, Rebellious Attire. Oh, that's cool. Wait, is that oh that's supposed to be from Persona 5, right? That's that's what I think the main character from Persona 5 has. Nice. Phantom will be underwear. Put on that one for now. Accessory. Sword art online, same difference. And then she also has... She has a red latex suit. We can put her in a red latex suit. Okay, game. Sure. Pirate uniform for J Junpei? Nice. Those look cool. All right. Well, no spoilers. I haven't played those games. Gosh. Yeah, it's very good. All of these, all of the playthroughs for Persona, all of the VODs are going to be up on um, YouTube. I'm going to edit them all and stuff. So. Hey. Everything okay? We're all ready to head out. Um, is there something over there? Oh, right, you can't see me. What is this? What a large clock. It doesn't seem to be working, though. Uh, this auto recover. I'm guessing it just uses items from my inventory. And then this is a transporter, probably, to different floors once we unlock them. I want to steal this hmm. motorcycle. That's where I keep my navigation equipment. Sorry, but do you mind not touch? Sorry. Hmm. Don't worry, I won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. Hey. Remember, Takab Takaba and Junpei have no real battle experience, so make sure you back them up. I don't really either. All right, let's do this. I'll prove that I should be in charge. Yeah, okay, Junpei. Hmm. So this is Tartarus. And then we have this dungeon Tartarus that I guess we're going to go explore. Hope for the best. I don't think there's anything else I could do, so... All right. Are you all ready? 
Yep, good luck. So, it's the real deal from here on, huh? Yeah. Well, it's easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? <laughs> I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. I don't know why calling somebody Wait, senpai just. Are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Yeah, now, wait. Based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? I... We don't know. We don't know yet. I love how my character's like, I don't know Let's any begin. of you yet. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. Junpei, I did not expect you to have a giant katana. And then she fights with a bow. All right. Defeat all the shadows. Uh, yeah. Dope. Whoa. Even though you have a beard, I still remember you as that still growing a beard guy you were eight years ago. Well, I had a beard then. I just had to shave it for work all the time. Hold on. There's a shadow up ahead. Hello, this is shadow. The first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. Hi, Tomas. What is this weeb dumb? Dude, this game is dope so far. for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. You can choose whether to use an attack or a skill on your enemies. You can attack with whatever weapon you have currently equipped on you. While it doesn't do the most damage, it will not deplete your HP or SP. Yeah, it's a JRPG. Launch an attack by selecting the target. Yep. Muttering Tiara. Let's see. Survey. Oh, that's cool. So they attack next. But I don't know anything about if they take damage to this or not. Okay. Looks like I'm up. Yo, Junpei, don't do it! Check this out. Ah! Uh, we won? Nice job, Junpei. You could be my 20th like, but you choose to dislike today. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. The music's so good. How'd you like my persona ability? Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Takeba too. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. She's, she won't do it. Good. Let's continue exploring. Nope, that's not what happens. Nope. Hmm. I like that you can, like, 
Yeah, this is gonna be cool. I wonder if there's anything, because this feels like the tutorial, so it's probably the same every time. Another shadow up ahead. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. The battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. Yeah. Nah, Junpei's not dead. He's just summoning right. us. Uh, you know. Let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. I'm gonna knock you down. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait, let me handle this one. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this. Wow. Hers is so cool. Yeah, okay. Each skill and attack has an affinity. Enemies will have weaknesses towards certain affinities. Attacking an enemy with its weakness will deal more damage than usual. It will also knock down the enemy. When an enemy is down, you'll be able to attack one more time. If you use this extra turn to knock down a different enemy, you can attack one more time again. As long as you keep knocking the enemies down, you'll be able to attack continuously. That is amazing. So if I use that, I can see who's next, and it's Junpei. What to do? Well done. Nope, that's not Keep funny. That nope. Finish off the rest. That one shot it though. Okay. Nice. Sorry, Junpei. You don't get a turn, dude. They leveled up, though. You're welcome. I did it. Fantastic work, Takeba. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? <laughs> Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. I can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. I'm the leader. Don't know why, just learned about this. I don't know why uh, she's not. Is there like stuff I can? F I'm assuming there's like stuff you can find, but maybe not yet because we. Yeah. Wonder how far we can get without losing contact with Kurijo Senpai. Senpai. Oh yeah, there's a chest there. The heck? Hey, found some kind of boxy looking thing. Some boxy looking thing. Yes, boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. Sometimes they contain useful items for battle. Seek them out as often as you can. Oh, sweet! So they're basically like treasure chests. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah! Let's bust it open and see what's inside. This game is great. This game is great. And other loot that will make exploration easier. There are many types of treasure chests, each with different contents. You especially want to keep an eye out for special items that can only be obtained. Life stone. Looks like it'll be useful. It's up to you to decide how to use it. You get injured while exploring Tartarus. You can use items and skills to restore HP or SP. Open the menu, select item, and choose a recovery item such as medicine or life stone, then choose a party member. Skills work in a similar way. Start by opening the menu, select skill, pick up recovery. It's best to prioritize Corey's HP so that he doesn't faint while exploring. Tell me about it. I hate when I, I hate when that happens. Yo, is this really a school? Like, no joke? It'd be kind of funny if we were actually inside our classroom right now, huh? Uh-huh. Dio, what is this? A Square Enix game? How? 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 Well, it's, you know, a JRPG. Counts. Revival bead. Called Ace Attorney? I can see that. I haven't played Ace Attorney, but I've seen, like, the...
shadow detected. Yeah. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now, now yeah. is your chance. But Hog all is my Try medicine. Up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. Do I need to do anything extra? You can swing your sword by pressing square while exploring or slash an enemy. Doing so will start combat. Striking an enemy from behind will trigger a chance encounter when you have the advantage at the start of combat. If the enemy attacks you first, a pinch encounter will occur, placing you at a disadvantage. Get into the habit of initiating chance encounters to gain the upper hand for an easy victory. You can still swing your sword even when there are no enemies present, so you'll be able to practice and test your sword's range. I didn't miss the first one. Seize advantage. For defeating several enemies at once. First, go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. Okay. I'll keep track of tactical data such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. Okay. L1 will allow you to view the affinities of an enemy. Different affinities are slash, strike, pierce, fire, ice, electricity, wind, light, and dark. Okay. Damage is deflected and inflicted on the one who initiated it. Drain damage is absorbed by the target and heals them instead. Analyze. That's so cool. Go, oh, Orpheus. All right. Now knock down the other one. That's when you perform an all-out attack. Uh, what? An all-out attack. It's a maneuver that engages the walls the moving in a coordinated assault. The blood like everywhere have been knocked down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Oh, that sounds so badass. Let's give it a try right now. Junpei, you're so cool. All right, when we knock them all down, we can do an all-out attack. Be a prompt asking whether or not you want to initiate it. Why would you not? Choose wisely, depending on the situation. If you are inflicted with a status ailment, or if you're the only one mobile at the time, then it, okay. They will not be able to join in. This was, oh, I see. What to do? This is so dope. Shuffle time. After a battle is won, shuffle time may occur. During shuffle time, different types of cards formed by the possibilities within your soul will appear. You can choose one of these cards. Each type of card has a different effect. Persona, you acquire a new persona. Wand increases experience. Cup activates battle support effects. Sword, obtain a skill card. Coin, obtain money. The more one mores you get in battle, the higher chance shuffle time will occur. If you end a battle with an all-out attack, shuffle time will always occur. Ah. Obtain the High Priestess Persona, Apsaurus. Done and dusted. Yeah, Junpei's awesome. So level three, he Orpheus learns Dia as well. How much do I remember what's written? Pretty well. It's also like pretty self-explanatory type stuff. How'd you like our all-out combo attack, you filthy shadows? Yeah. When I saw my opening. It's like my body just knew what to do. That was magnificent teamwork. It's hard to believe it's your first time. As you grasp the Wait, an RPG battle, or two of my day. with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. I can't get over that that menu animation. That's it's so good. Then we can use Dia here to to heal up. Got a new persona, Priestess, stats, Bufu, by Sudi. 
Isudi is a heal, it looks like. Oops. Cures freeze, shock, poison down, dizzy for one ally. I feel like they're giving that to us because they want us to use it. So we're the only ones that can change our persona. <laughs> He's open on their own. That scared, that scared me too. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah. So if I wait, whoops. Ah, dang. I detect another shadow up ahead. Take advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. Okay. Got it. I've covered the basics of combat now, but the most important thing is making decisions based on the situation at hand. I could do that. I'll continue providing support. This time, go ahead and try fighting on your own. The music is so forking good, dude. Are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. Try fighting on your own for once. Nah, I'm gonna use my persona, dude. If you have multiple personas in your possession, you can use change persona to swap out your equipped persona with another in your stock. We'll also change your stats, affinities, and usable skills based on the persona you switch to. Okay. Also change your equipped persona outside of battle. Oh. You can only do so before taking action that turn. So you can switch during... Oh, these are different Mayas. No, for a fact, this is a Persona game because you're being introduced to Persona still three hours in. Uh, what do you mean? This is like the first combat we've had the entire game. Goofu! Knew it. Your persona just now. It looks like you really do have a special power. Yeah, I do. Cost four SP though. Oh, foo. That it. That's literally not my fault, mailman. <laughs> All out attack. Are they copyright free? No. XP acquired from this battle will increase. Obtain money. You'll restore 50% of your maximum HP. Obtain one of the skill card Holy Arrow. I think I'm going to go with money, dude. Done and dusted. Mask of cruelty. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Thank you. Um, was that? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. Surprise! I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. We didn't summon that one though. I think this is a good place to stop. There's a device nearby that will teleport you back. Look around for it. There should also be some stairs nearby, but I can't approve any more explora ex exploration right now. We'll explore the upper floors next time. You'll encounter one-way teleporters that can be used to return to the entrance. Keep in mind that since these teleporters are only one way, you cannot return to the same floor where it was used. I really like the... What is this? Your chest looks different from the one before. It's kind of like a, it's got like a rogue, rogue yes, like that particular box is sealed thing in a to it. Way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism. 
but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. Twilight fragment I found in my room seems to be re oh. What's that you got there? A twilight fragment. I just said that. I wonder. That reaction. Do you have a twilight fragment with you? Try holding it up to the treasure chest. Special locked treasure chest can be unlocked with twilight fragments. The amount you need will vary from chest to chest, so you want to collect as many as you can. Number is one. Nice. I like how they're doing a little snuff soul. Not bad. Ah, I thought that's what that was. That's a twilight fragment. They can be used on devices throughout Tartarus. You might find more in Tartarus or other locations with traces of shadows. If you come across any going forward, you'll want to take them. Ah, okay. So now we'll be able to find those. So can I? Uh, L1 is map. Is there anything? Whoops. I'm, I've been playing Genshin, or not Genshin, oh my gosh. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink all morning. Okay, but we can't go up. I found some stairs. Wait, we're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Exactly what Takeba said. And the dash button in that game is different. Uh, no, I know that. Oh, this is I'm this game is going to devour my soul. Uh-oh. Looks like you found a teleporter. Now use it to return to the entrance. I haven't been played Gitchin. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I will say Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is basically Genshin Impact from what I can tell. Should I return to the entrance? Yeah. I, I don't think we can do anything else. Welcome back. So, how was it? Good. No problem. I see. Well... If you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Okay, but now... Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. I need them to Damn. raise my confidence. Why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. <laughs> you say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. What's going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry. Ah. We'll get used to it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. By combining my powers with the teams, I was able to stand against the shadows. I sense a strong bond with them. Ah, yeah. Rank two of f the fool. Just like Ukari and Junpei, I feel tired as well. I decided that it would be best to return to my room and rest. Uh, friends, give me one sec. I think my food's about to get here. This might actually be a good point to uh, take a little lunch break. Maybe? Maybe? 